I'm here at the West Berkeley community meeting held to discuss public safety in the wake of two shootings in the area. The meeting was organised to discuss ways in which the community can help to improve safety in their neighbourhood as well as to inform residents of the community resources available to them. The two shootings earlier this month on 2200 Bona and 7th and Addison resulted in six injuries and left the community concerned. Police haven't determined yet if the two are linked, but victims and witnesses have been uncooperative. The police also advised measures to reduce loitering and criminal activity. If it seems like there's something going wrong, you hear that little voice saying something's up, it probably is wrong, so you should call us. The meeting also featured speeches from the Berkeley Housing Authority, community youth groups and District 2 Council member Daryl Moore, who advised the community to pull together to protect each other. How we as a community can work together to make our neighborhoods, our homes, our places, uh, a safer place to be. So it's so vitally important that neighbors form neighborhood watch groups that they know who their neighbor is. Some residents complained that Berkeley police are not dealing appropriately with the situation, either turning up hours after residents call for help or accusing residents themselves because they do not know the community well enough. Almost out of a week, five days in a row call. Police didn't come until two hours later. We probably have a couple hundred thousand contacts with citizens a year. Uh, and of those, I think there's a very small number where uh, folks that we contact uh, leave the contact feeling uh, unsatisfied. There was also tension between the residents and other community groups who suggested that instead of focusing on policing the community, mentoring the youth could help to solve the underlying causes of violent behaviour. A lot of these people have their own businesses. Like I say, bring these kids in, give them a rake, give them a show. That's what they did when I was a kid. Let them paint the door now. Just teach them something. Don't just pass by and call the police. That's not going to help them. Me, myself, I'm a landscape supervisor with the BOA, which I deal with teenagers aged from 15 to 18, and they get, they get paid $8 an hour. So I'm doing a part of keeping some of the kids out the streets. Residents argued that individuals, including nearby UC Berkeley students, could do a lot more to help young people in the community to improve the area they live in. Everybody need to do something. These are kids. You know, ain't that what the world's supposed to be around? Yeah. Saving the kids. Residents are hopeful that tonight's meeting will bring better engagement between the community and youth in the area. For CalTV, I'm Liz Jackson.